Hello guys, today I am going to do a tutorial on how to properly operate a train in RailWorks 2 or Train Simulator 2011. As you can see, I am on the Oxford to Paddington route using a few own scenario called Oxford in Autumn. To start a scenario, click on the train you would like to use. Press 1 to enter the cab, and as usual, you would normally have the engine running. My engine is off. Press Z to start or stop the engine. Before we move any further, let's have a look at the cab controls. Use the wipers with a V key. Sound the horn by pressing the space bar and sometimes the V key for the two-tone horn and the sender with key X. You can open the doors by pressing the T key only if there is both a platform and a platform marker. Now, before starting away, you need to press W to switch the reverser to forward. Make sure you double check that the junctions are set correctly and the signal shows a clear aspect, which is another way of train protection warning system, or TPWS. So, let's start to move the train. You want to press A to apply throttle, but be careful, because you only need to put the throttle a little way. This is a 7-step throttle controller, and you need to bring it to step 3 to start off with, or else it will damage the engine, for engine overload, and can also cause wheel slide. to move smoothly. When you get to 5 miles per hour, you can increase the throttle by one step, then the next. It will be one step per miles per hour. For example, step 5 at 6 miles per hour, step 6 at 7 miles per hour, and finally, step 7 at 8 miles per hour. If you followed my steps, you should get a good and accurate engine sound. Now for the braking. We are pulling into Oxford Station. Apply the brake into full service, otherwise, in wet conditions, you MST only apply the brake to step 2. When you slow down to less than 15 miles per hour, be prepared to bring it down to step 2. And before you come to a complete stop, bring it down to step 1 and 2 only, and not in full service, or else the wheels could slide. Now, for the passenger operation. To open the doors, double check, there is a platform, and a platform marker, and the train has come to a complete stop. By releasing the train doors with a T key, it will automatically detect the platform side of what door it is the nearest to. By the way, you cannot close the doors, because when Rail Simulator started in 2007, they did not use driver-only operation. So you must wait from 10 to 35 seconds until the doors close, before you start to pull away.
Now, to start, check the signal is off. If it's on, press tag. If it says approved, you have permission, and if you don't, it will say denied. The signal is off, so I can just proceed. Also, exactly the same as I showed you earlier, release the brake, move the throttle to step 3, and increase by 1 step per miles per hour, once up to 5 miles per hour. That sound, that means the signal is clear and at read aspect. If it makes a different sound, press Q to acknowledge the AWS. If you fail to do it, in at least three seconds, it will apply your emergency brakes and will not reset until you come to a halt. That is basically all there is to it. From this point and further, just operate the train, just as normal. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and if you did, please comment and subscribe, and thank you for watching. See you later. Thank you.